<sighs> What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, before we even get into this video, I've already went live and made my disclaimers, but I'm going to make my disclaimer here on the start of this video. So for one, I don't necessarily feel right giving my opinion right now because um, people really misconstrue the things that you say, right? I want y'all to know that I'm a reaction channel slash sometimes get the tea, which means I am not a blog. I aspire to be a blogger, but it is a lot of information and a lot of things you got to do to be a blogger slash journalist. That's why I call myself a hood journalist, okay? I do what I can. I find what I can here and there. I have my conversations. I ask people, is it okay for me to speak on the content that they have looked for? They say yes, and we're good, okay? Now, yesterday, chilling, minding my business, right? And I kept seeing... Krishan Rock reportedly extradited to Oklahoma and faces up to eight years in prison on separate charges. This is one channel. Tasha K got it on hers. I mean, not channel Instagram page. Tasha K got it on hers is a couple, um, blogs, uh, that have articles and things like that on this same thing. Shade room, probably going to post it two weeks later. Okay. Now what I'm here to tell y'all in the beginning is I didn't put out this information. I got to talk to y'all like that because for some reason y'all think I'm the one that's producing this when I'm clearly reading it off of somebody else's blog. Okay. So I'm not putting out anything. I'm talking about what's already out. That's what it's been since the beginning. And that's what it will continue to be. All right. Hood journalism is what I call it. Now, Krishan Rock faces up to eight years in prison after extradition to Oklahoma. Now, for those that may like hot tea, hot chocolate, may not like hot tea, hot chocolate, ain't none of my business. All right. I rock with tea, hot tea, hot chocolate. She eyed with me. We have zero issues. Ain't had an issue yet. It's a lot of blogs that I actually rock with as well. All right. Even the ones that don't like Krishan, they have certain information that I like to speak on. I am not a Krishan Hey page. Never been. I do support Krishan, but I will talk about everything. I am not a Krishan fan page is the difference. Okay. Krishan fan pages are there to support Krishan wholeheartedly right or wrong. And I I've never said y'all don't need to y'all. That ain't none of my business. I'm here to talk about what's going on. All right. Now that's the last time I'm going to say that. So, Tasha K said, Krishan Rock's legal troubles just got worse. Allegedly, according to documents, she was recently extradited to Oklahoma to face two felony controlled dangerous substance charges and could be looking up to eight years behind bars, which is just straight because it was marijuana. Marijuana. Okay. This would just completely be a lie. Um, huh? Oh, she probably said right. Um, yes, that's just eight years and behind bars for dangerous control substance. That's just cap. Okay. <laughs> so I, I have to state my opinion on that one. That that's just cap. Y'all, it was some weed. All right. It was a little bit of gas, a gas. Um, Krishan did not go stab anybody. She didn't put a gun to nobody's head. She didn't like threaten anyone's life. Um, she was speeding, uh, and she had a little bit of meta day one. Okay. Uh, hot tea, hot chocolate said, this is not true, Tasha. You know, I got the facts and straight from the lawyer's mouth and the documents. Now let's get into these comments on hot tea, hot chocolates, um, opinion on the situation. Okay. Now, this is not about hot tea, hot chocolate, but she is defending what's going on. And she do has paperwork that, Certain blogs just don't have. Okay. All right. Somebody said, Ooh, a lawyer can't speak to you about someone else's case without permission, i.e., the client. So that's a lie. So now let's see you wiggle your way out of that lie. Y'all, Hot Tea Hot Chocolate has spoken to Krishan on several different occasions on live. Hell, Krishan has given Hot Tea Hot Chocolate information that none of the rest of the blogs have. She did a whole damn three hour live about it to be exact. So yeah. Um, 
for what reporting on she faces because of what she did or didn't do child please that's how long her probation is uh make sure krishan sue all these blogs just says see you soon shawnee even if it's probation that's still a possible sentence swear and we all know that they stay clickbaiting as sad free rock bless your heart if you really believe that you should really touch grass uh her probation was only four years where is eight coming from is the point okay so let's get into hot tea hot chocolates proof now once again i'm not i didn't create this information i'm reading this information all right so let me get to this for y'all state of oklahoma versus krishan malone this is the case number order for commitment 30 days now on 2 23 2024 the above entitled matter comes on for hearing as to defendants failure to complete 120 hours of community service by 9 15 2023 as ordered or ordered on 3 15 2023 violation of community service rules as follows failure to comply the defendant has a remaining balance of 120 hours the court upon hearing the merits and review of files finds that defendant failed neglected and refused to complete community service according to the rules as ordered it is therefore ordered that the defendant be committed to the custody of sheriff of craig county oklahoma to be jailed for 30 days of flat time as as previously ordered now unless high ti chocolate out here creating this type of paperwork um what what does there everybody have to say about about this okay i'ma just let y'all read it for a second to be jailed for 30 days y'all it was it was metahewana metahewana she did not have crack cocaine. She did not have heroin. She did not have nefentina. It was marijuana. See, what Krishan went wrong was just not doing her community service and not showing up how she was supposed to and paying her dues. Therefore, she is getting a wrist slap, but a hard one. She already served her time for James, which was... 30 days got get y'all got that now she's getting extradited to oklahoma because oklahoma need to see her face to face oklahoma said we're gonna spend this money to get your ass here face to face you gonna pay us back though but you're gonna do these 30 days and you still i don't know if she still has to do community service but maybe if she do the 30 days she ain't got to do community service no more that's normally how it work you do the time you ain't got to do the community service and things like that all right so Krishan probably won't even have to do that community service no more. So, I just thought that y'all should know. You, you can look at it again now. All right. I don't like how you tea hot chocolate. I hate how you tea hot chocolate. That's fine. Look at the paperwork, y'all. We're not here to like anyone. Look at the goddamn paperwork. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all we need to do. Look at the paperwork. Now, for me, all of this is alleged. All of it. Until we see what the hell is going on. At least Hot Tea Hot Chocolate came with paperwork and not just a goddamn picture of Krishan and some words. Krishan Rock faces up to eight years in prison after extradition to Oklahoma. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I'm going to go with hot tea, hot chocolate on this one. All right. Anybody in the chat have any questions? Anybody in this chat have any questions? All right. I'm giving you the floor for a second. Uh, I'm not going to put y'all on the phone because people don't know how to act. But what I will do is let y'all comment and I will respond. <clears throat> I'm, I'm I'm waiting. She's not gonna do eight years. We know, friend. 
All they do the right day that she was there, but really wasn't. Nick, I sent you something in Discord. It's in the general part. Okay. Um, she did it to herself. She thought she was untouchable and didn't have to follow the law. I don't feel sorry for her at all. Uh, I'm glad Krishan is um, being held accountable to be responsible. Uh, no, ma'am. It's all about comprehensive reading. Uh and anyone can pull the court info if they are willing to pay for it. Facts. Uh, I thought it was four years. I don't know. I don't know. I just joined what's going on. Uh, what are the updates on Junior? Glad you said that because we're about to get into the next part um, of Carlissa saying that she was going to pick up Junior if uh, Bluefist don't get out. Uh but I'm going to stand on very firm what I've been saying. Stop worried about children that ain't yours. All right. You know, matter of fact, because I've been getting a little bit of flack about this worrying about children that ain't yours. Let me ask y'all a question. If somebody said Junior is with Carlissa, y'all will have something to say. If somebody said Junior was with his grandfather, y'all will have something to say. If Junior was with um, whoever, Smiley, her friends, it don't matter. Y'all going to have something to say. What y'all going to do when you find out where he at? That's what I want to know. What are you going to do? What are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm curious. What are you going to do? Not a big ass thing, right? So I ask, why do you keep acting, asking about a child that can't even be like, yep, yeah, I'm just chilling at my uncle house and shit. Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> Y'all not providing no diapers. You're not providing no milk and shit. You're not providing nothing. So... What y'all going to do? I know nothing. <laughs> so I say again, stop worrying about a child that ain't yours. It's crazy. That is so crazy to me. Like I will never understand. They can't do anything but to, I, I just... They, hold on. They, hold on. They said eight years of probation and four years possibility jail time. They said eight years in prison. And then y'all get mad at me. No, Nick. They said eight years of probation. Well, this right here says what? Anybody that can read for me? Because y'all know I can't read and sh What does that say? Does that say probation or does that say prison? I'm, I'm just wondering. Eight years in a pen, not probation. <sighs> y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go with the with the with the the uh, court documents. All right. And the court documents came from hot tea, hot chocolate. Okay. So that's who I'm going with. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.